All right, you guys, this is Ross. So in today's video, I wanted to really highlight one particular tomato variety that I've been really impressed with so far this season. We've been doing a big trial. For those of you guys who watch my channel, you know that in this summer garden that I have, there's about 50 different varieties of tomatoes. And we were trying to find some tomato varieties that would beat out some of my favorites. And if you're looking like, if I wanted to put one of my favorites for every category, the first would be pink brandywine uh, for a beefsteak tomato. I think it's so good, it's so smooth, it's got great flavor, the texture is amazing. Uh, then if you were looking at a cherry tomato, like this one here we're looking at today is called Napa Chardonnay. But my current favorite is uh, black cherry because it really is kind of like the perfect texture that you can find in any cherry tomato. It's got great flavor, good acidity. It's got everything you want, I think, built right into a a cherry tomato, it's really like eating a beefsteak in a smaller form. Uh, if you were talking about your paste tomatoes, my favorite is the orange banana. As Amy Goldman mentions it in some of her books, and you can find it even on the Seed Savers Exchange, I think. There's different writings about it. It really does make the best sauce. At least I have found it makes really great sauce. I have no complaints from any of the people who, uh, who enjoy my pasta. Also, I would, I would also highly recommend uh, as a fourth variety, maybe a little bit of a wild card or a salad type tomato is the green zebra. It's just very acidic. The zest, the flavor in it is unmatched. I love those green style tomatoes that have that awesome acidity to them. Um, and for me, I think all four of those perform really well here. And of course they give me that, that wow factor that I'm looking for. So in this trial, I have not really been that I mean, I've been optimistic, but I've not really been that hopeful that uh, I would find anything that really could beat those. This cherry tomato is so impressive. I have to say, uh, it's been bred by Brad Gates at Wild Boar Farms. And I've also been really impressed with some of his varieties in the past. Uh, so this one to me seemed like a bit of a no brainer. I decided, uh, you know, why not grow this thing? The production on it doesn't seem to be too great but it's not like it's bad you know so I would say this the production on this plant is about medium or maybe average or on the even on the lower side compared to some other cherry tomato varieties I've had or have grown but um, you know the flavors out of this world and that's to me where the money's at you know if it's gonna crack and it's gonna split and it's gonna you know not perform well here then that's not good, right? Maybe if I'm gonna get a lot of blossom end rot, that's not good. So far, I'm not noticing any problems with it other than just maybe a little bit lower of production than maybe I want. Maybe that's just this particular plant. Maybe that's just where it's at or, you know, so many different things that could be the reason for that. But for me, at least, other than that, there's nothing wrong with it and the flavor is so, so amazing. And that's really what my main concern is, is the flavor is it going to be better or at least maybe something unique enough to grow alongside my four favorites that I mentioned. Um, so if I taste this and what I think really sells it for me, what really separates this from any of the other varieties I've ever tried is the flavor uh, and the texture. So the texture really quickly, if I bite into this for you guys, it really is a, Nice explosion in your mouth, but you would expect from a cherry tomato. But for me, it kind of does resemble a lot like, uh, you know, a big beefsteak tomato that has that awesome, perfect texture that you're looking for. You know, the skin isn't too tough. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like it has like a big hard shell to it that's just tough to get through. It's like a pleasure to eat. You know, and it has that really awesome texture that uh, I think I personally look for. I think a lot of you guys should look for it too if, if that's something that, uh, you know, is interesting to you. I mean, personally, I don't think, you know, eating something is all about the flavor. You know, it's also about the texture. So for me, this is one of the better textured tomatoes in terms of a cherry tomato that I've ever had. Now. The flavor actually reminds me, and it kind of looks like a ground cherry. Um, it's really quite fruity. 
It's nice and sweet. It's sweeter than a ground cherry, uh, personally, I think. But it doesn't have any of that funk, any of that cheese flavor to it that just weirds me out to uh, enough of an extent to not really want to grow the, the ground cherries. Maybe if I lived somewhere else it was a bit warmer, I might change my mind. Maybe if I made them in the raisins, I might change my mind. But so far, I've not really been a big fan of ground cherries. They don't seem that sweet and they got too much funk. This seems to be the best compromise because it's a lot sweeter, I think. Um, and there's not really much of that funk, but it has a lot of that fruit that I don't see in other tomato varieties. So it really has a nice fruit forward flavor profile. It's kind of like a little bit of like pineapple. Um, good tomato flavor to it. It still has some acidity, but it's not, you know, the overpowering uh, flavor that you're gonna pick up like a, like a green zebra. Um, I think the, the fruit in it and the texture in it is actually enough for me to really grow it again and actually to highly recommend that you guys try this tomato at some point. It's called Napa Chardonnay. I'm actually really impressed with it. I, you know, for the reasons we mentioned, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You'll think about growing this particular tomato, excuse the camera there, and uh, we will see you guys soon. All right, so this was Napa Chardonnay, and it also is really quite beautiful, if you ask me. All right, guys, catch you for the next one. Take care.